Good morning, everybody. This is Diggs. It's another beautiful day out here in the Pacific Northwest. And today we're going to be talking about the collectibles of Rathamus. Uh, we're going to be talking about some anti-bot farming strategies, uh, as well as some of the more popular farming locations. Uh, let's go ahead and dig in. <laughs> All right, so Rathamus is the starting zone of the game or the starting region. Uh, there is tons of bots here for the, so the first thing that I wanna show you in the first area is going to be the best area to avoid the bots. You can see some of the bots are already here running around for questing, uh, but we are in the Rathamus border, part of Rathamus, uh, and we're up by Aqualock's Tale. And uh, this comes, I believe from Reddit. I had a viewer of mine share Share this with me uh, because he had actually gotten his collectibles relatively fast um, where you gather all of these zombies up now unlike other monsters in the game these zombies actually have really far aggro radius uh, they will continue to aggro you they will continue to chase you uh, you just stack all of them up and just wait for them to come and hit you uh, you'll see we actually got a boss monster to spawn here too uh, and you just go ahead and kill all of them you run back here hop on your mount you wait for all of them to spawn again the spawn is relatively fast so you will be able to do this quite quickly uh, and then you can just kind of rinse and repeat uh, from his statement of farming this it took him about one to two hours his name is Bob for those of you uh, who are curious or who are familiar with my stream he is a regular uh, viewer on my stream he's also a mod um, but he's had great success with this strategy and honestly I think this is the best strategy right now to farm with Tharmus collectibles besides actually purchasing the collectibles themselves and uh Rathamus, Udia and uh Western Lutera are, are kind of like the zones where all the bots roam so you do have to consider you know is it worth it we just see we just got plague spores there uh is it worth it for you to compete against them uh the more popular place is going to be at Anakumo border uh and it's going to be at the closed border post now there are a lot of um people recommending to go and farm here I actually think this is one of the worst farming areas uh because not only are you going to be competing with other people for farming uh you're also going to be competing with the bots because it is a regularly botted area uh for leveling and for collectibles uh and again that is why you see all these bots are running right past me um <laughs> that's why i don't necessarily recommend it i tried to pull this off i tried to farm here you can see there's all of these people here uh, we've seen one we saw one run past there's two uh, your goal is to kill these yellow guys right here uh, there's another one up here I like to camp right here uh, if I do camp here because I can kill this guy up here uh, and then I can kill this guy down here and I can usually if I just sit right in the middle I can grab them or tag them uh, before the bots are able to actually do anything or interfere with anything if you are really low maintenance and you're just wanting to go for a relatively slow grind and you just want like a few yellow monsters to grind out you can also go to the starting area this also came from one of my viewers jose uh, who's been a long time viewer uh, he recommended uh, coming down here uh, and there are two yellow wolves that spawn he calls them wolves i guess they are technically moss wolves uh, but there are two yellow wolves that spawn down here there's one right here uh, and so you just run around, you kill all the wolves, uh, you run up here, there's going to be another one, there's also going to be a boss here, uh, all the wolves will aggro you, you just knock them all out, uh, and then you just keep knocking out wolves and you wait for respawn. I think this is probably the slower method, but again, if you're wanting to avoid bots, if you are wanting to be able to just run this and get through this, uh, this is probably going to be one of the better areas for you. Uh, I do think the best way for this zone and of course for the first three zones and i will reiterate this non-stop is to actually purchase the collectibles because they are relatively cheap on the market board uh if you need gold you can farm gold at other locations and sell other collectibles uh for example my north burn collectibles literally sell for like 100 gold each right now uh and the collectibles in this region only buy like you can buy them for like 
you know, five gold each, sometimes even cheaper than that. Uh, so it is a valid opportunity. If you do just want to spend some time farming, I recognize that's very old school MMO thought, uh, but my goal is to try and save you guys time and uh, make it as painless as possible uh, to 100% those adventuring logs. Uh, thank you so much for watching everybody. I hope these videos help everyone uh, and have a great rest of your day.